Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my top five easy care plants that just have not failed me yet. They continuously push out new growth but also they're just kind of nice to have and I don't really have to put a lot of thought into their care. Nice and easy, nice and breezy. So let's get right into it. Firstly, I'm going to talk about a tried and true plant in the plant collector community, and that is, of course, the golden pothos. Every single plant parent I know has either a golden pothos or a pothos of some kind. They're super, super easy. All you have to do is let them dry out nearly completely and then just water them. Put them in somewhere with medium to bright indirect light if you do want them to grow really big. They are low light tolerant, which is really handy. But if you want them to grow and grow fast, because they do, you do want to put them in bright indirect light or even medium indirect light. Um, this has grown twice the size since I've gotten it. It won't stop growing. Every time I look at it, there's a new leaf, which is great. Um, but it is a very beautiful plant. I also like to put a lot of my plants into clear pots. Because um, if I put it in a clear pot, I can tell if it needs to be repotted. Now, this has only been repotted recently, so it's fine probably until the next growing season. But pothoses do like to get a little bit root bound before you repot them. But at least now I can see if it's root bound without having to take the entire thing out of the pot, which is really handy. Next on my list, I actually have a polka dot plant. Now, I have been told this is not an easy care plant. For me it is. It has just tripled in size since I've gotten it. I got it in a little two inch pot. It was tiny. It was only about this tall maybe and it has just shot up. Now I've also propagated this because the fact that it just got so tall. So I put the cutting in a little bit of water and it's growing some little roots. I'm super excited about that because I am going to plant it back with its mother to create a bushier plant. But yeah, so this is my white splash polka dot plant. Again, it's super easy for me. I know it's not easy for everyone else. Um, I just like it because it tells me when it's thirsty because it just completely droops down if it's thirsty. And then as soon as you put it in some, put it in some water, I do bottom water my, most of my plants. But as soon as you put it in some water, it just goes right back up again. It's great. So next up is the good old trusty spider plant. This is one of the easiest plants I have ever had the pleasure of owning. It's a really good filler plant as well, which is nice. If you just have like an empty space in your house or in the office that you want to stick a plant in, spider plants. These are super easy. You just let the soil dry out and water it once it's either nearly completely dry or completely dry. They do have thick roots, so they do hold on to a good chunk of water in their roots. So even when the soil is completely dry, the plant is still okay. And plus it does tell you when it's thirsty because the leaves kind of fold in on themselves when they're thirsty. Stick some water in it and then it's 100% okay. And next up is the Skindapsis pictus. This is one of my favourite plants, not only for how absolutely beautiful the leaves are, but also how easy it is. It grows so quickly. I've only had this about a month and it's already put out five or six new leaves already. It is just so beautiful. If you wanted to thrive, I would recommend bright indirect light if you wanted to grow quickly. So this just kind of hangs in my windowsill. I have an east facing window in my bedroom, so I get some nice morning sun, which has massively helped all my plants in my windowsill because they are all thriving, which is fantastic because they don't get that really super intense sunlight like you would in the evening but it just gets that kind of boost in the morning that you would get with an east facing window. And then last but not least in my five easy care plants is my Syngonium white butterfly or Syngoniums in general, like the kind of the regular Syngoniums in general. I don't know anything about the rarer Syngoniums because I don't have any of them. I have the um, white butterfly and the gold illusion. And these two, there you go, there's the other one. These two, have been some of my best purchases that I've ever made. They will not stop growing and they're low light tolerant, but they both get a good amount of light during the day. And like this just, it has grown twice in size since I've got it. 
everywhere I look, there is a new leaf either unfurling or freshly unfurled. I only repotted this, I'd say, a month ago, maybe, and it already has little roots sticking out of the bottom. Like, it just never stops. Now, the great thing is with syngoniums is they do like to get a bit root bound. A lot of the plants I have actually do like a bit of root boundedness. So um, this is a really handy first plant for any person who wants to get into plant collecting. It is so, so easy. Again, you let it dry out nearly completely. It will start to droop when it is thirsty and it does tell you, but you just give it a good soak. And I stick this again in my east facing window so it gets some nice bright indirect light um, and a little bit of direct light in the morning. But this has just, it has just not failed me. I love this plant. It has created some of the most beautiful leaves I have ever seen, like this one is so pretty to me. I just love the variegation on it. Yeah, highly recommend any Syngonium, any of the regular Syngoniums. Again, the rare ones I don't know anything about. I've heard some of them can be a bit harder to care for, but the, um, oh my God, the Syngonium White Butterfly and the Gold Illusion, fantastic for first plant parents. Yeah, and it is also just one of my favorites. So that is my top five easy care plants. Um, I have a lot more plants that are also easy care, but they're just kind of my top five favourites at the moment anyway. So let me know in the comments below if you would like to see more of my easy care house plants, or if you want to know some of my slightly harder to care for plants. Um, but yeah, just let me know. So like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. And um, thank you very much. Bye.